y'all. Welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. In this lab, we're going to practice lab techniques. This is a series of lessons. If you're in my class, you will need to watch every single one of them to learn all of these lab procedures. I have a lab to go with it. Your teacher may have just assigned a couple of sections, but just know each lesson is going to teach a very specific lab skill that you need. This lesson here, we're going to talk about the parts of a Bunsen burner and the fact that if your Bunsen burner comes all apart like this, that that's okay. I'm going to teach you how to put it together, take it apart, and what all of the parts are used for. Okay, so grab your notes. We're going to be making a sketch of this, so make sure you have something to write with, and let's get started. Before we get started, I want you to think about what safety equipment would be used to put out a fire on a person. This is a striker. A striker has a flint on it. If your flint is worn down, you can get a new flint and put it on. You just unscrew this piece uh, and put the new flint on. When you want to make a spark, you're going to use two hands. One thumb is going to push it left to right, and the other thumb is going to push it down, and you are going to make a spark. And then we have a Bunsen burner. We've got the barrel, we've got the air valve, we've got the gas valve, and then we have the gas inlet jet. This is where the gas comes in. Now we're gonna be able to adjust the air valve by twisting the barrel. If I twist it too much, it can come apart. Don't worry, that's okay. This is where the gas comes through. It mi mixes with the air in this chamber. We all know that fire needs oxygen to burn. And then you can easily put it back together. Okay, so we would twist the barrel to adjust the amount of oxygen coming into our flame. We would twist the gas valve to control how much gas is coming into our Bunsen burner. If we need more gas, we can open this valve. You always wanna test your gas to make sure it's on. I can put my hand in front of it. I can feel the gas come out. Hopefully you heard that. If I'm testing this jet, there's nothing. Something is wrong with this jet. I, do, I don't feel any gas, and nor can I hear anything. Okay, let's review. I want you to describe two ways to adjust the gas. Which one do you think would be the easiest to use when the flame is on? Don't feel bad if you have to rewind to make sure you got that down. Here's another safety question. What safety equipment would be used to put out a fire in the room? Okay y'all, well that was the parts of a Bunsen burner. No big deal that it comes apart. It's supposed to be able to do that. Make sure you watch the video that's coming up next. I'm gonna teach you not only how to light the Bunsen burner, but how to produce that roaring blue flame that we chemistry teachers like. Until next time, bye y'all.